Every year, the NFL Combine is the place to go for the latest crop of American college talent, hoping to impress scouts and make it to the big league. They're put through their paces in a series of high-intensity tests, with every piece of data analysed and compared. It's the most important thing you do in your football career. And you, the second you start playing football, if you have the goal of going to the NFL, you know that that day is coming. And obviously the preparation and techniques is months and months of preparation. But when you get down to it, when you get down onto the line on the day, you kind of just do it. You know, If you're thinking about it on that day, you haven't prepared well enough. So that's how, kind of how I felt when I went into it. It was kind of just like, you know, it's do or die. That's what it feels like. If you want to find out what it really takes to make it into the NFL, then the best way to go about it is to have a go yourself. Helped along with some expert coaching. That does look pretty high. Tell me what it is that I need to bear in mind here. The way that this works is based off of your height. So they'll measure you essentially, you'll reach up with your arm. This is all about explosivity. So you want to get a nice solid base. I find to get into a rhythm, so kind of engaging your glutes and then you're reaching, just looking to tap it. You don't want to be smacking it because it almost makes it go down. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Oh, oh that wasn't bad. So I touched somewhere around 33. There's Not always bad. room for improvement. Room. <laughs> okay. right, Running, jumping and lifting are all key parts of the combine, but it's increasingly becoming about personalities as well with more emphasis being put on athletes being a good fit for teams. There are some guys that are absolute standouts, um, you, you know, and it's, that's a huge element of it, but they want to know what you're like as a person, and there's a big emphasis on that at the moment. If we have a conversation, how do you handle talking to a GM, to a head coach or an owner? Because how that translates is a really big part as well. And if you've got a player that can only bring you one small area, you're going to go for someone that offers you a lot more versatility. Okay, so here we are at one of the most iconic and probably important parts of the combine, the 40-yard dash. Alex is alongside me. What are the most important things to remember at this discipline? Okay, so I think one of the most important things for the 40-yard dash is the start. And I think that's where most people get messed up on is um, the start technique and the drive phase and how to get as much power as they can in a short period of time. And then obviously to be as quick as you can. Well, Phoebe has got the stopwatch ready. Let's go to the start line. Get your toes right on the line. We're going to bring our feet together. One foot back, one foot back. Turn to 90. We're going to bend into a squat. Put our knee down, yeah, like that. And then hand down. Yeah, right on the line because yeah, exactly. the closer... The closer you get to the line, the closer you get to the finish line. Okay, and then we're just going to bring ourselves up, tuck our chin, and it's going to be nice and flat like that. And this is the start position. You made me realise I don't miss that event. <laughs> Of course, the Combine doesn't claim to have a 100% hit rate in spotting greatness. Tom Brady's infamously average numbers back in 2000 meant he was only picked up in the sixth round of the draft. But five Super Bowls later, he's probably proved his worth. If you can put someone into a system, then you can really see them flourish, essentially. And that's like a Tom Brady situation. Like you said, he, was, he did not have the best Combine, but someone saw in him the potential for what he could be or what his arm could do in his mind. And that's a huge part of who he is now, his actual, the mental element he brings to the game. Well, I don't think I'll be competing for a first round draft pick anytime soon. It's clear so much hard work goes into just making it into the NFL. For me, in the meantime, I guess it's back to the drawing board. One. Two, three.